Now we are going to start the chapter 5 coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. <coughs> this is chapter 5. Actually, the basic use of the coordinate system is suppose if you take your classroom. In a classroom, the number of benches will be there. Suppose if I take this is bench 1. Let us take it as a, this is B2 bench 2. And this is bench 3. Now, for each bench, minimum three students has to sit. One person, second, as well as third. This is first, second, third. One, two, three, like this. I am defining the positions of the children per bench, three persons, where they have to sit, how they have to sit. Now, if you observe carefully, I am able to arrange the people in a horizontal manner with respect to the bench. Suppose if your teacher is standing here, the teacher if she comes here and observes, these people are in vertical form to her. This is a horizontal, this is a vertical, this is vertical. This is vertical. This is one row. This is other row. Completely there are three rows are there. These are three columns are there. If she calls anybody, she will identify that bench two, second person. That implies, if we observe carefully, from here, second column, from here, second row, second person. That implies, this position has been made out by the teacher with respect to the column as well as with respect to the vertical horizontal line. This is called a row. Therefore, suppose if I want to, if she is calls you, if this person, she wants to talk to this person, third row and then first column. That implies third row, we are indicating that the three. First column, we are indicating as the 1. That implies third row, first column. Identifying the position of a point with respect to the space has been identified by the great mathematician, a French mathematician, Descartes. Here, his idea is the total space has been divided into four parts. Now, how to from the four parts each part how to locate it and then how to identify it he is able to find out from that now we will observe carefully this now the total universal space has been divided into four parts this part let us call it as an x-axis this is an x dash this is an origin this is y this is y dash. Now, the total space has been divided into horizontal as well as vertical. The point of intersection of these two is called zero. This is called origin. This is called the right side of this. This is the left side of the origin. This is the bottom that is called this is going to the up. Total space has been divided into two dimensions. X, X dash is one dimension. Y, Y dash is going to be the other dimension. Therefore, we are calling it as a, the total space as a two dimensional space. Now, by taking the unit length, he is able to divide this one into the one, two, 3, 4, like this, and so on. 
the length is unit length that implies origin if i take it as a 0 0 that is x point is 0 y is 0 each and every point on the x axis he had identified with a unit length 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 because of on x axis i am taking it here the same manner left hand side also we can take it as a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 now in the same manner if you see the upward direction this is plus 1 2 3 and 4 here also we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on up to minus 4 now my main question is like this here right side we are calling it as the positive side upward direction we are calling it as the positive side x o y space is there this entire thing we are calling it as a space this we can call it as a plus as well as plus i am calling it as the same manner if i look into the left hand side of it x axis is negative every time when i am identifying any point or anything first we should say that x coordinate next we have to talk about the y therefore this is x is a negative y is going to be the positive that implies here x axis is a positive and y axis is negative generally in this is first quadrant quadrant means a part of it that is x o y is one part which is making a 90 degrees angle here at the origin here also x dash o y this is the other part of it the same manner if you look into the third we are calling it as this is minus this is minus that is x dash is the negative y dash is also negative in the same manner here if you see this is going to be the positive x is positive y is going to be the negative now my main interest is like this suppose if i want to identify any point in the space how to identify that for example now my question is very very simple a person starting from here he moved two units distance here has taken a upward direction with four units that implies one unit distance second unit distance third unit and fourth unit that implies here he had taken a two units here he had taken it as a four units therefore what is going to be this point is going to be this point which we can locate it as a two comma four that is called the x coordinate as well as y coordinate therefore here we can call it as the points can be identified it as two comma four we can express in terms of this is called x coordinate and then this is called y coordinate but in a general sense here we can say that with respect to x axis with respect to x axis x coordinate is called abscissa y coordinate is we are calling it as an ordinate therefore with respect to the axis i am talking that is ox is one axis o y is other axis when i am talking with respect to these i can say that x coordinate is called abscissa y coordinate we are calling it as an ordinate therefore every point we can identify with respect to x comma y that implies some distance from origin to some distance is there y coordinate is also the same distance is some distance is there therefore by keeping these distances into the mind then i can say that we can locate the point now in a general discussion i will tell you how to identify the points in a total space